Welcome back to the Land Ranger. Today we're going to be exploring a Wi-Fi standard that came out in 2017 known as 802.11ah. This is part of the IEEE 802.11 family of standards, and it's a long-range Wi-Fi solution that essentially acts as a layer 2 bridge. These low-powered bridges run in the 900 megahertz range, so they are more than capable of penetrating buildings and a thicket of woods, and they are very capable. <laughs> as, as cheap as they were on Amazon, they can get the job done. So stick around. They're going to test some range, and we're going to see what we can really get out of these. I have them pumped into a uh, dipole antenna on the roof, and they're 50 milliwatts, so the actual output power, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, what is that, 17 dBm, something like that. And uh, we're going to also look at some of the spectrum on the SDR as well. So I actually had to build a little power cable uh, that will supply 5 volts to these things so that I can power it with my MacBook instead of having to chug along the actual power adapter. The downside of this is that the MacBook is only going to be providing it 500 milliamps instead of the one amp that the power supply that it came with is going to provide it. I don't necessarily think that that's an issue, but it may make it a little weaker. <laughs> switch it to the other side here. Yeah, you can't tell it's snowing, or was snowing. We have one bar. Uh, for context right now, we're about uh, we're a half mile away from the transmitter. So, let's see if we get anything here. Not getting anything yet. We had one bar and then it just went away. That's crazy. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Maybe. These antennas are not good. Towards the transmitter. We are now one mile from the transmitter. And look at that. Let me see if I can zoom in. We got an IP address. I don't know if I can zoom in though. Oh, there it is. There it is, we're getting pings. We're literally getting pings one mile away. That is, that is nuts. It's not very stable. Let me see if I can. Yeah, these don't have any form of like RF. Uh, I think we're one mile away. Yep, that's one mile. Let's see if I can get it. We are getting some pings, but not, oh, there's another one. It's just not very stable um, as expected, I mean. Oh no, it's not focusing. There we go. Well, ish. Alright, so let's see if I can get it stable. Oh, we lost it right there. I'm gonna move towards the back of the church. Oh. 
Oh, hey, there they are. Holy crap. Well, yeah. That's nuts. It's a little better right here. 87 milliseconds to Google. I bet if I stayed right stayed right here, it would. Look at that. I know we probably won't be able to do a speed test, but hey, it's worth a shot. I'll try and hit my local speed test server. If it even works, it probably won't, but Point it towards the transmitter. Now, mind you, this is 50 milliwatts. Um, that's what the FCC allows this to pump out at. But the difference is, I've got a 10 foot coaxial cable going from the transmitter to the, uh, or the transceiver to the uh, roof. And um, it's a, an antenna's uh, dipole. And look at that. Oh my gosh, it's stable. That's nuts. And my web server is loading. Mind you, we are one mile away from the actual transceiver. So it is through that thicket of trees, uh, literally a mile away. Like it, it took us a minute to get here, um, you know, with back roads and such. But uh, this is this is insane. Um, especially at 50 milliwatts. But anyway, long story short, it's going through a dipole on the roof, um, through coaxial. There is some loss because it's a 10 foot coaxial and uh, I have to do the math on that loss. I'll probably put that somewhere at the bottom here after I do the math because I can't do it in my head. Um, but the fact that it's even getting a ping from out here is insanity. I'm gonna try and pull back here and see if we can get the speed test to pass. Oh, we're getting into thick trees now. Let's pull out the uh, the SDR as well and see what the SDR sees. I would like to do a speed test. The fact that it even links up at all is impressive. Mind you, this is also completely layer two. So uh, when I say layer two is it's literally just acting as a layer two bridge. That's all this is. So on the other side of this, it's plugged into a switch and it only learns one MAC address. And this MAC address is going to be my USB NIC. Um, so the switch to the switch that it's connected to is completely transparent, has no idea that, you know, on the other side of this, what it is, uh, other than it's a laptop or USB NIC. So let me pull up the SDR. <laughs> Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want me to stop? No, you're fine, sweetheart. My fiance is the best photographer. Hi. Videographer. Okay. Let's see if we can see the frequency or the uh, waveform. I, I need to find the preamble, but I don't know. There it is. Uh, so what is that, 915 megahertz? Yeah, there it is, 915 megahertz. Let's see if we can get, okay. That looks kind of more like 900 and... There's so many, like, spurious emissions, it's just crazy. So, yeah, there is the... Ah, that may be from the receiver side, trying to transmit back. Yeah, there's a lot of spurious emissions for some odd reason. Uh, 30K sample rate, by the way, so 918. Um, uh, Bright and Tosh. Let me open up Bright and Tosh to get some brightness here. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Let's see, what is 919? Oh, no, not 9 gigahertz. Oh, my gosh. 9... 20 megahertz. Let's see where we... I think we broke SDR Angel by doing that. There we go. Okay. 
So there it is, yeah. Yep, so that's the uplink. Um, I'm not sure, like, why there's so many spurious emissions from this guy. It's, it's kind of nuts. Did we have any more pings? That's a one mile away ping. That's, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the power to it real quick and see if these spurious emissions are. See if we could actually see the uh, the receiver or the transceiver from the house. Hold that, sweetheart. Thank you. Let's see, we'll go from nine ten megahertz. And then two, we'll go up from here. I mean, that's got to be it right there, because that's the spurious emissions from it. I, it, it it's, it's very strange, because it'll, it'll literally go from like 910 megahertz all the way up to 920. That's it. The waves that we're seeing there. Um, of course, there's some other stuff in this 900 megahertz range. Um, the utility poles, we have smart meters here, and they, they are in the 900 megahertz range. So, But that's it. That's it right there. That's the house. That's crazy. It's not very strong, obviously, but I want to see if we can link up. So let me power it back on. Put my SDR right here. And there's the spurious emission. So what it does is it frequent it does frequency hopping. So it'll it'll probe uh, several frequencies until it finds the transceiver. Um, and we might move on further down. See if we can get anywhere. And I've also got this at 500 milliamps on five volts. So like it should theoretically not be getting as much power as it needs because it needs one amp it's only getting 500 milliamp at five volts and now we're really through the thicket so i don't know if it'll work at all back here had to reboot it to get it to pair oh crap it came apart oh no oh my oh crap let me, uh, let me put it <laughs> No! Chinesium. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> it still lights up. <laughs> okay. That's nuts, though. We got some pings here. It would be nice if it would just link up, though. What's SDR Angel showing me? Yeah, so it's it's right now it's trying to use 908 megahertz is where it's at now. It looks like it's trying to link. Still have request timed out. No route to host. Not showing a signal bar. All right, let's uh, let's just pull around first. I don't want to kill us. You're still strapped. I know. Yeah, I am. Perfect. Oh no, I got snow on me. That's no bueno. Ah, it's cold. Hmm? <laughs> We're not getting anything. I can't believe it came apart. That's crazy. What the heck? I haven't even tried to take it apart yet. All right. We had it here earlier, right? Barely? I think so, yeah. All right, let's see. Wow, that's so cool. 
now. I mean, the fact that I even got a ping is enough for me to call this a success. Because that means we learned layer two all the way back at the switch a mile away. <laughs> it was right here, I thought. Which, also the, the uh, antenna is on the back of the house. Technically we're facing, that would be southeast. Right now we are facing north. So the roof could be causing uh, some attenuation there. it again. That's a shame. We literally had pings and now we don't have anything. I mean the length of the waves should make it through the glass but I mean it, I'd like to bring it inside. I say we go behind the house, try that, and then call it a call it a win or a loss. We got pings, so now we're a half a mile away from the transmitter or the transceiver. Check it out. We're linked up. See the spurious emissions. I don't know why it has the spurious emissions, but uh, this is a half mile away. And um, yeah, let's do a speed test. It's stable enough to do a speed test, I think, maybe. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, it loaded. 0 0.13 megabits per second, wow. Yep. Not, not bad, not bad at all. Honestly, I'm impressed. I can't say that this was a fail. Three upload, hey, we could put a security camera here a half a mile away from the house. And I think this would honestly do better if it was getting the full amp. Um, Cause right now it's, like I said, it's, it's 500 milliamps, so. But there's our waveform. If I bump this up to 16K here, Let's see? Um, it's pretty solid, all things considered. Like, uh, yeah, one mile away, it's unusable. Half a mile away, it's, it's relatively usable. Google loaded, holy smokes. Something smells hot. Oh no. Well, that's it. That's the video. Um, yeah, this is impressive. This was $40 on Amazon. Um, yeah, Wi-Fi Halo is it's something else. Like, I uh, did not expect this. And um, for the most part, it worked exactly like I thought it would. Let's see if we can find that signal now from the transceiver at the house. There it is. It's searching for the receiver right now. So those little data blips there are it frequency hopping to see if it can find us. That's awesome. Something smells on fire. What is that? <laughs> anyway, we'll finish it here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed.